Hi everyone, my name is Alejandra. If you need to extract the information from a PDF file, but you don't have Microsoft 365, I'm gonna show you two options to work around that. Thank you so much for all your comments, very appreciated. If you like what you see here, please consider subscribing. And let's get started because we have lots to cover today. I'm gonna show you two ways to extract information from the PDF file. I'm gonna be using Microsoft 365 here, but I tested it in Excel 2016 and it worked. So here I'm gonna to go to the data tab and get data from other sources. And I'm gonna create a blank query. In Excel 2016, you will need to go to the data tab, new query from other sources, and then you will need to select blank query. You will get to this uh, Power Query editor. Once we're here, I had to use a Power Query function to call the PDF file and extract the information from it. Here I am on the Microsoft website on the documentation and I have the PDF tables. Here we have an explanation of what this function is about, the syntax, and there is an example. So I'm gonna copy that and here in my Power Query editor, I'm gonna go to the Home tab and click at Advanced Editor. Here, I'm gonna create my function. I'm gonna delete these double quotation marks and I'm gonna paste the syntax that I copied from the Microsoft website. Control V. And here you can see the sample. I'm gonna carefully select this information that is within the quotation marks and delete it. I'm gonna paste the information from my file, Control V. This is the place where my file is. Here we have our PDF file. Now you need to make sure that you are bringing the information that you really need. If you want to watch my video from last week, you will see what all of this information is about. But just a very quick reminder, is that this page has this information. This is not what I need for the purpose of my reconciliation. This page includes some uh, information on the first rows that I don't need. The second line is a, another page. The third line is what I'm looking for, is a table. So I need the tables that are, are included in this PDF file. So here, if, you, if I click on the right, I can see this is what I need. These are the titles. The first row is the titles and everything else is the information that I'm looking for. All the tables will have the information that I need. I don't need the pages. A very quick way to do this, I just filter this column kind and I remove anything that relates to page. I just want to keep the tables and I say, okay. Here we have our tables. Now, because I know already that this information has all that I need, so let me show you. This is the file that I'm going to be working with. I know that it has six tables in total because it has six pages. I know that the, the data is organized in the same uh, layout. I know that I can extract all this information in one table. I have my six tables. I'm going to press Control Shift Plus so you can see here there are two rows facing in the opposite way. I click there. I want to expand. I don't want to use the original column name as prefix. Okay. I have the information that I need, but I have additional columns that I don't want. I'm going to select the first column, press shift. I'm going to select the third column that I don't want. Once I have this, I can press delete or I can right click and remove columns. Now, uh, this is the information that we were working with last week. I'm going to speed this up so I can show you that we finished with the same product than last week. Just bear with me and it's gonna take no time. And it's done. I have all the information that I need. I made all the changes to catch up with the video from last week. I recommend that you watch that video so you can see all the steps that I just did. Now we're here ready to load this information into our workbook. And I go to Home tab, Close and Load, Close and Load to. I have only one table. I'm able to select existing worksheet and I want the existing worksheet on cell A1 and I click OK. Here we have our table ready to work with that uh, customer reconciliation that I had last week. 
This can be any information from a statement, from tables that come from PDF. This was very helpful, very quick, and there is a way to do it in other versions rather than Microsoft 365. So this is one way to do it, but you need to create a function and you need to know that syntax. So anytime that you need to do that, I recommend you go to this uh, Microsoft website where you will have all the details for the functions that you're looking for. In our case, we were looking for accessing data functions. Now, the next tip that I want to share is downloading the Power BI desktop version that will allow us to use the Power Query editor and extract information from PDF files. So you will need to go to powerbi.com, create an account, get to the Power BI home. You will go here to these three dots, to settings, click there, download, and you will download the Power BI desktop. Click there and it will ask you that if you allow this to, to open. And I will get and install is downloading and this product is installed. Just click on launch. Just gonna open. And here we have our first page. I will just say get started. And I don't need this. I'm gonna close that. And I can get the Power Query Editor from here, from another source. You will need to click in this blue line. I press connect. Here is the file that I'm looking for. It's connecting. Here we have all our items. What I need is the tables only. Here we can see what is included on each table. I want the tables. I don't want the pages. The pages have uh, a lot of rows that I don't need on the top and also has the page number. I don't need that. Click here. Oh, I'm missing one. And now click at transform data. My Power Query editor opens. And just as we did it last time, now I can append queries. I can start transforming my information in only one query. Again, I recommend you look at the video from last week and explain how I do all of that. I'm gonna do it very quickly right now. Uh, there is a point that we need to stop and then we can pass that information to Excel. So I'll speed this up and I'll show you very soon. Here I have all our information ready to go. Instead of close and apply, I'm gonna go here. You see this little table that is on the left, just beside the first column. Click there, and then we are gonna copy the entire table. Click there. We open Excel in a new book, and then we paste. We can Control V, we can paste right here. Here we have our information and I'm going to convert it to a table by pressing Ctrl T. My table has headers, yes, and I press OK. Here we have our table again, ready to go and ready to prepare our customer reconciliation. I can quickly just press Ctrl Shift 1 and I'm going to just remove the decimals and we're ready to go. Very simple, very quickly, and we can have access to the PDF uh, information. You can choose the method that works better for you, but downloading the Power BI desktop version is free, and it gives me the opportunity not only to use the Power Query Editor, but also you will have the opportunity to start working with Power BI, to get familiar, to get more comfortable with Power Query. I hope you found this information helpful. If you like it, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Bye-bye.